Hello everyone, welcome to Shining Series Intro Scan Course. Today we are excited to introduce a new feature that allows users to capture up six occlusions of different draw relationships within a single case. This empowers dentists and technicians with a more comprehensive understanding of occlusion, facilitating the creation of an even more precise design and treatment in subsequent steps. Now I will demonstrate how to capture additional occlusions at different jaw relationships and share some tips. After scanning the upper and the lower jaw, we will enter the occlusion scan steps. First, we will scan the first occlusion and then the second occlusion with maximum cusper interposition. You can also add a third occlusion if needed. Following that, we can include more occlusion information with different jaw relationships. For instance, we can scan occlusion information with a left crossbite canyon jaw relationship and a right crossbite canyon jaw relationship as the second and the third one. The software allows users to change the name of the jaw relationship or delete it by clicking the delete here if they do not need it. Additionally, you can incorporate more jaw relationship occlusions, such as occlusion for the protracted bite jaw relationship or the first contact jaw relationship or any others you wish to record. The total number is six, including the first maximum concept interpretation. During the pre-design step, we can review the occlusion information with different jaw relationships one by one. All the scanned occlusion data and other upper and lower jaw data are saved in the same folder, ready to be sent to the lab as a completed project. Additionally, there is an approach through which we can import all occlusion of multi-jaw relationships into ExoCAD. I will show you now. By clicking the ExoCAD button here, we can open the ExoCAD software and automatically load the project and other related information. In expert mode, Click on Add Remove Mesh, select Visualization Mesh, and load the file. Then you will see another antagonistic has been imported. During this process, we will maintain the coordinate position of the working jaw unchanged while updating other occlusions by displaying the corresponding positions of the antagonistic. You can repeat the previous steps above to import a third, fourth, fifth, or sixth occlusion. The ability to record multi-jaw relationship occlusions provide users with all the information that they could have from a dynamic jaw motion while remaining the static recordings. It is useful for checking patients' occlusion limitations and discussing occlusion conditions and treatment planning with them. We hope you find this brief instructional video helpful. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us.